interesting site, and I think your car park is a lake. I think. Correct. What do you reckon? How deep is it? Oh, two metres. You've got a swimming pool. Yeah. And we have a bat. It's trying to pull up now, as you can see. Right. Okay, I'm going to have to get onto this side in order to, to be able to do it, but that's okay because you're just going to hold me. You're going to hold the back of my overalls. I can just see if I can take a panel out. Oh, well, okay. I'll see if I can do that. All right, in the meantime, I am doing... Get I'm getting set up in with this. I always get... Oh, look, you're a genius. I always get my bat. Somehow. <laughs> but you're still going to hold the back of my overalls. Yep. Because I don't like swimming. I don't like getting wet. I look like a drowned rat and I'm reasonably sure everything in my pockets will die. It's not like I'm going to fall though. But, but um, yeah, I know, but it's not like I'm likely to, but it's just, let's be safe about this because nobody wants a wet Meg. Poor little guy. So they can't get out of it. They can't fly off the ground. They can't get out of areas like this. So this is a, a complete trap, but why was he there in the first place? That's what I'd like to know. Okay, you're holding onto the back of my overalls yeah. just because they're doing this. Oh, well, that's another rescue. Come on, sweetheart, you need to come up. Come on. Yeah, I know. But you look, look, sweetie. Sweetie, look. Oh, you were in a really um, bad situation, and so we're just making it better. Okay? Come on. Up you come, up you come. I'm helping you. There we are. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Actually, no, it's a juvenile. Oh, From... it is. Yeah. And are they aggressive? Um, well, the adult males will um, attack me, yeah. right, um, and try and get away. But the juveniles just tend to go. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, and so, hey, okay, it's a little. Do they try and bite or not? Um, well, he's just a bit confused and he's exhausted. Oh, yeah. um, the adults would bite. Oh, yes, the adults would bite me. Um, but this little guy. What happened to you? How cold are you? Actually, You're not even... Animal, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Look at their eyes. They're smart as well. This is some glucose. Mm -hmm. This will give him energy and it reduces shock. That's assuming he wants to eat it. Look at that. Look. And take photos if you want. Yeah, take video. He's a gorgeous little character. Hey, I think I he's a... I didn't get it. <laughs> Hello. We'll just do it now. Give you a bit more. Hey, how's that? Bit of glucose for you. Like giving them lollies. What's this building going to be? Apartment block, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'm just, I'm only here today. I've got another job sign I'm run, but only you know, because we're here to pump all the water out. And luckily we did come because... Yeah, exactly. if we didn't, the bat would have just fell in and eventually wouldn't it? Um, yeah, because... Oh, no, when you pumped it out, but she'd end up on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. You hold on to me, sweetheart. Okay. So the juvies just tend to not know what to do. So, okay. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. She's probably hit it head, and she looks actually quite young. Um, so maybe about 16 weeks. Oh. So that's a bit young to release them. So she'll go um, north. I'm probably driving to Queensland in a couple of weeks. So she'll go north with me and we'll send her to a creche up north. Actually, no, it's a boy. Look, hidden in that fur. Oh, yeah. There's a little boy. Yeah. We've got a little boy. We've got a handsome, handsome little boy. Yes. 
such a good boy. Okay, can I lie you down? And then you're just going to go and have a sleep for a bit. I'm going to give some fluids into his back. So he will feel a lot more comfortable now, wouldn't he? Yeah, like when you go to hospital and you put a drip up, I'm going to inject some fluids just under his skin and that will be absorbed. It's easier than finding a vein and it's less traumatic for them. And then I'm going to give him something for pain because he's no doubt smacked his head in his little event and he's probably been in the pool as well. So I probably, I'll probably start him off on some antibiotics. I'll talk to the vet about it just in case he's got pneumonia or that he's inhaled any of the water. And then after that, they can swim, by the way. Oh, they can? Yes, quite well, because it's, it's probably easier swimming than it is um, flying. You gonna go down there like that? Here we are. Um, they've got a lovely, I call it butterfly, the butterfly stroke. Butterfly. Yeah, but it's like a butterfly, it's a whole body undulation. They have a really lovely oh, stroke. Do they do they? Just hang yeah. on there. Yeah, but also I want him to lie down and de-stress. Make sure your toes are not in that. Do you want some more? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I have no idea where I put Oh, they're in my back pocket. A little bit more, sweetie? You try that. There we are. All right, now you come from the side or something and see it, look. That's good, isn't it? How's that? Definitely wants a feed. Yeah. Well, it's energy. Right? And now he's decided I'm not so scary. No, no. no um, it makes friends. It, we've made friends with each other. And, um, so you just take him home? Yeah, yeah. I'll take him home. I'll look after him overnight. And then he'll go to somebody who's got other bats. Because they do a lot better when there's other bats in care. Yeah. Um, I used to use this net when I rode a scooter and used to do rescues and I had a basket on the back of the scooter because yeah. it could fit into my backpack. Okay, See? what do you want me to carry? Um, thank you. I do. Me bat. Me bat in case he puts his bits out and, and scratches. Thank you so much. No, thank you for no noticing him and for caring and for calling. No problem at all. Well, first of all, I thought that you must be alive if he's hanging on. Yes, um, well, not necessarily. You know you've seen dead bats on power lines. Yeah. Um, their legs, uh, they have a tendon and a sheath. Now the tendon, um, the sheath has nobbles like uh, corrugations in it. So when they put weight on, the sheath stretches and the corrugations grip onto the tendon and lock it into place. Oh, so it's you, amazing, yes. right? And because they do that, that means they can't, they don't, it doesn't take any energy whatsoever to hang. Don't fall out. No energy to hang so that they can, in fact, in order to unhook their foot, they actually have to take the weight off it, either by flapping and flying and taking their body weight or taking the weight on their other foot. So that's, they can't just get out just like that. Okay. Yeah. You learn something every day, eh? Hello, handsome. I really thought you were a girl. I mean, look at that. That's only a girly bit. But look at that tiny little thing hidden up there. Hidden in the fur. Oh, actually, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just going to... There's the cloth. Wrap you in this one. You've had a very bad night, haven't you? I hope you weren't there for too long. There we are. It's all right. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. And we're just going to pop you in there. Do you want to put that there? 411. 411 grams. 411. Where are your bits? Where are your bits? Okay, you're 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 145. So, you know, you're 40, 50 grams underweight, aren't you? And you're probably about 18 to 20 weeks. Have you got something in that eye? Yes, whatever it is. Scratch. 
No. So what did we say? You're 411. So it's 410, um, which is 20, about 20 mils you can have. How about, I just find a spot under the skin. There we are. Maybe I'll heat up that fluid for you. It's a little bit colder today, and you've been in the pool, I think. Yeah. Nice. Oh, a bit of crankiness going on here. Cranky's okay. It's all right. It's it's all right now. It's true. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. You got your twenty mils. Okay, now you're going to lie down. Now you're going to lie down, right? Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's try the odd grape or two. Okay. You want to bite me, but you don't want to bite a grape. Trust me. Okay, we'll try again later. Actually, why don't I put you upstairs in the mags or in the baddie blue? Yeah, okay, let's take you upstairs. We'll put you in the baddie blue and I'll put it on. Not too hot. Don't even think about it. There we are. Here we are. Yeah. Well, put your feet up on that. And lie down. I want you to just hmm? see how you go. Don't pee in the filter. Don't bite me either. Hmm? Okay, mister. Hmm? Okay. I'm going to put you in a cage, taking you to where you've got a buddy. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Look at that. That's a good boy. So let's just cover you up like that. Put some shoes on and off we go.